What's up, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to teach you about command bar options. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to type a line, and I'm going to select my first point as 0, 0. And there we go. All right, so the first thing I want you to notice is look down in the command bar. There is a button that says undo. <clears throat> so let's say, um, hmm, I changed my mind. I don't want it to be, I don't want the line to start at the origin. All I have to do is go down here and click undo. And notice that I can just go ahead and uh, put my line wherever I want. That saves a little bit more time compared to line, enter, start it at zero comma zero. And oh, wait, no, I don't want to start it at the origin. So I press escape. Well, when I press escape, that, that got rid of everything. So I have to type line again, enter, and then I have to specify, specify my first point. So undo, did that really save a lot of time? No, that did not. Um, but undo is going to uh, be an option for several different instances with many different commands. So undo, it just, it just after, I, after I clicked it, Okay, so the undo is not there, but when I click my first point, undo is now there. So I can undo and start somewhere else. Oh, no, I don't want to start there. Undo. I don't want to start here. No, undo. I'm going to start here. Okay, I'm going to show you a different way to, to, to select this undo option. Okay, so let's say you want to keep your line like... You, you, you want to keep your line up here, and you don't want to drag your cursor all the way down here to click it. Now your line looks messed up and it throws you off a little bit. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I, instead of dragging your cursor all the way down to click it, you can also just type whatever blue letter you see in that option. So the blue letter is U. I'm just going to type U, enter, and that is uh, essentially clicking the undo button. U, enter. I'm going to show you how it appears in some other commands. So I'm going to do C for circle. All right, here's some uh, options down here. I do not know what these mean yet, but maybe we will learn later this semester. So I can type in 3P, enter. And that was a different way of just typing, um, of just uh, pressing the 3P button. All right, I'm going to show you with one more other type of drawing. So I'm going to make two different lines. I'm going to implement the fillet command. So many of you don't know what the fillet command is yet, but you will learn it. It's very cool. I can connect these two lines with um, a rounded uh, corner, with a rounded corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So just F for fillet, press enter, and it says uh, select first object or, but before I select my first object, I just want to point out, yes, look, we have five different options here, five command bar options. I'm going to click radius, and I'm going to specify that I want the radius of my rounded corner to be 0.1. Right. Now that the radius of my rounded corner is 0.1, I can select the objects to connect. Isn't that really cool? Well, if you don't think so, I, I think so. So um, let's do that again. So Command-Z, I'm going to do fillet, F, Enter. I'm just going to type R instead of clicking the radius button. So R, enter. And I'm going to make my radius uh, 0.5. Select okay. my objects. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's do it again. Fill it, enter. Uh, I'm going to make my, I'm going to type R for my radius. I'm going to make it a radius of 2. And notice that two is pretty big compared to the other ones that I just did, right? 
So when I hover over, okay, so I'm going to select my two objects. When I hover over my next object, it gives me a warning. It says fillet radius is too large. I can't do that. Uh, a radius of two for that rounded edge is too large for these two lines in particular. In other words, it's just impossible. They can't have a corner with a radius that big. So what I do is, look, there's another option down here for me, radius. So I click radius, and it allows me to put in a different value for my radius. OK, so I changed my mind. Two is too big. There we go. So here you learned about command bar, uh, the command bar options. And you also got a free bonus on learning about fillet. So until then, I'll see you next time.